Today's video, I want to talk about Mind Over Matter regarding Demon Slayer and how a couple of Demon Slayer troops and Tanjiro along with Zenzetsu, I can never say their names correctly, so don't scold me in the comments for that. But basically, I wanted to talk about how it's like Mind Over Matter because you can see the monk Hisashi, if I'm saying his name correctly, he's able to sit within the fire and have even say that it's cold because he says this part, which let's, let me share this with you really quick. So when we're watching the screen, when we're watching them walk up, that like Tanjiro and Zenzitsu are like, what is going on? They think that this is absolutely insane. Whereas like, what's going on? They just don't understand it. And this is maybe something that you don't understand as well too. And this is something I want to relay because I have found this to be very beneficial to myself is our minds are so much more powerful than we give them credit for. We can sit in the cold fire. We can think about, let's say, so I like to think about it in this term. So like, let's say you're going to a restaurant or a Mexican restaurant and you see a chef or something like that. And what they're doing is like, they're holding this pot, this very hot, like this very hot item, they're holding it with their bare skin and it's like it's next to nothing for them because they've been over, able to overcome it within their own minds. Same thing what I do with biking, exercise, lifting weights, journaling, working hard. Like I've been able to train my mind to be able to withstand discomfort in any environment. It's why I say I can go into the shower and I can just meditate and I highly recommend you doing this is like sitting in the shower and just like letting the waterfall of your head, unless you do have like a waterfall near you, then obviously go do the waterfall because like this is monk training. And this is what allows for our minds to be so strong because the stronger our minds are, the more capable our bodies are able to go through. Now, if you don't have a strong mind, your body is going to be weak. And if you don't have a strong body, then obviously, like, what are you doing with your life to begin with in the first place? So from my own personal experience and something that I highly recommend you, you try if you want to be strong like the Demon Slayers, if you want to defeat other en enemies that stand within your path, First, start by training the mind. Train the mind to what you believe to be impossible and you'll start to see that it is possible for you to achieve this said thing. And it starts by doing small little steps of exposure. So one example and how I would recommend you do this is grab a sheet of paper, just like this, and write down things that like, one thing that scares you and start breaking it down in five, six, seven individual steps that you can do to be able to expose yourself to that said thing. So maybe it's talking to women, going to the gym, um, exercising, walking, starting a YouTube channel, whatever goal or ambition that you have, write that down on a sheet of paper and then break it down to its small individual steps. And you'll start to realize that you can start to train yourself, just as I have, to overcome and withstand uncomfortable situations. And the more you do this, the easier it's gonna to be to apply this same strategy, tactic, information to other areas of your life. Let me know how it works when you do it and just leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. No, this is shorter, so just let me know. I'm growing as you grow and we'll figure it out day by day. But yeah, mind over matter. You can do a lot more than you think you're capable of doing. You just have to put yourself in those situations to make it happen.